I am in the tropical house at Terra Gardens with Tom from Bonide. And so, Tom, you know, this is the time of year that we are loving our house plants, but it's a really a good idea to start looking at them because maybe something is going on with them that they're not growing at their best. Oh yeah, going on is exactly right. You know, spring has sprung, uh, and we're not only going outside to enjoy the flowers and and the fruits of all our work over the winter months, but you know the house plants are kind of becoming revitalized yeah. and you're getting new growth and new foliage uh, and we're having insect act activity outside, but we're having insect activity inside as well as disease problems. We've got a whole host of products here from Bonide to, uh, to help cure those problems. You know, I think that we love them and we should look at them, especially this time of year, because it's been a long winter. And so really just monitoring them can start, you can start um, stopping problems before they get too blown out. Absolutely, there's cultural things that we can do for our house plants, you know, proper watering, uh, thinning the foliage, uh, deadheading the flowers, just the same thing you do outdoors. So there's some preventative measures, cultural things we can do, but then, you know, there's always times where we get busy, you know, we have kids, we have pets, <laughs> sure. and we all get busy, we forget to do things, right. and then the problem starts. Right. And so here are four really good products to, to help um, get over that hurdle. And let's talk about the Bonim, because this is one of your organic products. I see that it has like that beige shoulder on it. Yeah, anything in the Bonide label, when you see the, the tan upper right corner, uh, that means it's a natural active ingredient, and in most cases, uh, approved for organic gardening. And we'll call out on the front of the label when it is approved for organic gardening. Now, these are all indoor products. Uh, my favorite of the four is the Bonim. Okay. The, this is two active ingredients. This is pyrethrin, which has come from dried chrysanthemum flowers, mm -hmm. which makes for a really uh, very effective natural insect control with quick knockdown action. And then the secondary active in here is sulfur. And sulfur will provide uh, a broad spectrum disease control. And something that uh, you may, may not know is sulfur is a very good spider mite control oh, as well. and that really, they attack house plants. So oh, it's good they're, to be they're on, horrible. on that. Yeah, so as you can see, white flies, aphids, spider mites, mealybugs, um, all of those common insects that just drive us crazy on the house plants. And then with the sulfur in here, uh, give you dual action, dual purpose of disease control. Oh, perfect. And then I see you have an insect, inse insecticidal soap, excuse me. Um, and so what would we use this for? Well, insecticidal soap is also just a very good um, indoor and outdoor uh, bug control. Um, some will say it doesn't get any more organic than insecticidal right. soap. Uh, to be a little uh, on the technical side, it's potassium salts of fatty acids. Uh, I think of it as a Band-Aid. It is a soap. It's mm -hmm. simply going to just wash the insect off of the plant. Chances are they're going to come back. Uh, but if you're being, if you're trying to be very environmental conscious and be, um, you know, a little softer to, to the environment, indoors or outdoors, uh, including vegetables, you can't oh, beat perfect. insecticidal soap. Oh, perfect. And when you spray, do you spray just the top, or should you really get underneath too? Um, I like to do a complete coverage. And if you, if you'd like me to demonstrate, you know, it's just just a nice even mist onto the foliage oh, and it doesn't take a lot. Okay. So underneath and on top. Perfect. Yep. And then what about a systemic? So this is a granular dried product. This is a granular product. Um, systemic houseplant insect control. Systemic kind of says it all. Uh, it will translocate throughout the plant. So down to the roots, ah. up through the top and protect for approximately um, eight months. I call this the lazy man's way of protecting house plants, right. uh, specifically for the sucking insects. It is simply a tablespoon of this uh, as a top dress around um, the edge of the pot. Oh, perfect. Water it in. And then water it in and you're done for eight months. Nice, nice. That's good ongoing protection. Absolutely. And then I see fertilizer. This is really the time to start fertilizing because they're going to get actively growing because we have more light. Uh, more light is, is the key word there. So, you know, uh, more light for our outdoor plants. We're seeing, you know, all the hostas, the perennials, the biennials come to life. Uh, same thing's true with our house plant. Nice green, lush foliage. African violets are starting to come back to life. Uh, and, and what these plants need is just a, a soft approach of micronutrients, excuse me, macronutrients. Um, what I like about our eight ounce flip top uh, fertilizers. We do have them for orchids, we have them for ac uh, cactus, 
We have an all-purpose. This one is specific for African violets. It has a flip top and it is a teaspoon per gallon of water. Oh, wow. If you don't have a measuring device, it is seven drops out of the flip top oh, in perfect. a quart of water and then you just water it into the plant. Oh, perfect. And those will get blooming in no time. Yeah, no time at all. You know, Bonide has a wide range of products, and so even for house plants. So if you have any questions, please go to Garden Time. We'll click you over to where you can find them, or you can come to Terra Gardens right here in Salem. Thanks so much, Tom. Thank you.